stir everybody we are april 24th 2011 and welcome to another episode of your technology questions answered hosted by yours truly steve smith aka z axis and today you may have noticed we've got brand new music thank you john lee hart more information of that at the end of the show today we are talking about your linux 101 guide to ubuntu linux we're going to be talking about how to get onto the internet how to load the internet so you can get onto it how to access your email, how to set up instant messaging and social broadcasting, where to get your office software, and your graphic software. All that within the demonstration that you will be seeing. Also, I'd like to remind everybody that there is no danger of being infected by viruses, so you can all calm down, and please do not start crying and getting into the fetal position. It's not mandatory today. No thing I'm going to show you is complicated at all. At the end of the show, I'm going to be telling you about the next month's worth of shows that I'll be doing. I'll be also giving you addresses to specific things where to send your comments and donations to the show to make the show better. So let's get on to the demonstration. Now for the guided tour of Ubuntu Linux. I'm going to show you how to first use the internet, which is fairly easy, people. I have it on this thing down here, which I'll show you later on how to do in another episode. The icon for Firefox is usually here, but if you accidentally delete it, you would go under Applications, Internet, Firefox. It is one of the most popular web browsers on the internet on the Ubuntu platform and as you see it's the same internet all the way down nothing changed there the next task that we often use is email like I said yes there's an icon here but I'm gonna show you this from the applications menu just in case you do something and please bear in mind it's fairly hard to destroy Linux. Applications, internet, we're gonna use the Evolution Mail client. It's relatively the same thing in every platform. See, email already. By the way, I wouldn't suggest a preview pane at the bottom in Windows ever. Linux, no danger of viruses. So how would you add a new email account? Well, that's fairly really easy. You're going to go to Edit, Preferences, Mail Accounts, and Add. Click Forward, enter all the information that you need, and just follow the instructions. Once we're at this place, everything's the same. Not very hard to deal with. To write new mail, hit New. Just do like you would do normally. And to get more mail, hit Send and Receive. That's it. What's the next task most people do? Well, chatting, instant messaging, social networking. In our case, there are two programs that actually function as one on the desktop, but are actually two distinct programs. One's called Empathy, and Empathy is actually the program that you would want to do. Well, I'll show you. Empathy Instant Messaging. It's your chatting software. See, I already have people online. Now, if you want to add more people, you're going to have to go under Edit, Accounts, and you click Add right here. Then you simply select the protocol amongst many around here, enter your username and password, and it's done. Now. The other one is called Gwibber. Gwibber is for social networking. So, again, applications, internet, Gwibber. As you see, mine's are all my stuff's already set up, just to show you that it does actually work. See, you can even see the messages here on the side. Accounts, add. Select the new account type that you want. Dig Twitter, StatusNet, Ping.fm, Facebook, Friend, Feed, Buzz, Flickr, Identity.ca. I've never seen anybody use that one, but whatever. 
that's basically all you'd have to do. Please bear in mind, I will add these to the show notes on www.zedaxis.net. Now that the instant messaging and social networking part is done, and so far you haven't found very much reason to start crying, quivering on the floor, and ball up into the fetal position, how about the next task? Office work, word processing, Excel spreadsheets, presentations, again, not that hard. Applications, Office this time. You select any of the programs, presentation, spreadsheet, and word processor, and I have a fair bit of good news for you. If you're already used to using OpenOffice on the Windows platform, it is the same thing. If you have already used Office from Microsoft, it is the same thing. Just start typing any content and you should be fine. It works pretty much the same way. Now that I've shown you that much, how about something that doesn't normally happen as much that we still do? Go into the Applications folder, go into Graphics, and load GIMP. By the way, GIMP replaces Adobe Photoshop not just on the Linux platform, but like OpenOffice is also available for the Windows platform. So instead of spending those hundreds of dollars on Adobe, you might want to spend it on here. So you see, Applications, Graphics, load the program GIMP, and now you've got the ability to create new graphics. All you have to do is start a new project and start doing anything you want. Yes, I'm a better designer than that. Don't worry. Just showing you it works. Oh, by the way, you'll never see this in Windows unless you add another program. Right there. So, those are the basic five tasks that you do within. Now to show you how they work within the desktop. Look in the top right corner. You see how the icon here, that access actually has a chat? Well, you can actually change your availability here. Chat accounts, broadcast accounts, and all that. Now, if you hit chat accounts, you're able to modify your chat. If you hit broadcast accounts, you're able to modify your Twitters and all your broadcasting accounts. See, you also have the About Me section, which shows all the information that you voluntarily put into the program. And if you want to move it, unlock it, move it anywhere you want. You didn't move. You get the point. There. Now, to access everything, you hit this icon here, which shows Mail. That opens your chat window. Then you go to the mail icon again. You hit mail. That loads your AMP email. There's a reason why I showed you very specific programs. They all work directly from the desktop. And then your broadcast account. In my case, Twitter. There. Now, there are a few things you'd have to learn before you can fully use this Linux, even at the beginning level. First and foremost, internet. You need to connect to it. See this icon up here? And I'm only telling those actually listening to the show. I'm not writing this in the show notes. Select the icon here. It'll be either a network icon or a wireless icon, but it's gonna be up here. Then you'd have all your wireless connections that you could possibly have here. If you're anyone like me, you have a hidden network, so you'd have to connect to a hidden wireless network. So you just select that. Write connection new, write the network name, select security. Well done. Hopefully you're using WPA, enter the password and you hit the connect button. If you're using ethernet, that's not hard, you just plug it into the computer. The very worst, you restart it and Linux will auto detect and you'll be connected online. That is the fun part about Linux. You don't need to take out your driver disk. Now, if you want to get more software, watch this. Applications, Ubuntu Software Center. This is written in the show notes. We let it load a tiny little bit. It checks everything simultaneously. 
And guess what? You have all this software all for free. Once you've connected to the internet, of course. Next week, I'll be talking about how to install certain Windows applications within Linux using the program Wine. Later on, I'll help you customize your desktop with the program Docky. I'll explain how to get your printer to work within Linux, how to get your scanner with, to work within Linux. I may try to find a way to get your multifunction printer scanner to work if you have one of those. No guarantees on those ones. I'll also show you how to scan for viruses your Windows partition from Linux. If you want to send me any comments, questions, answers, suggestions, commentary, anything you want, make sure you send it to me before Friday, midnight Eastern Time, to tqa at zedaxis.net. If you want to advertise on the show, head over to the website www.zedaxis.net, or if you want to help me but don't want to necessarily advertise my paypal account is tqa at zaxis.net the guy that made my music his name johnny lee hart thanks man he's from the uk if you want to contact him facebook.com slash johnny no h lee hart no e so that is johnny without an h and hart without an e so johnny lee hart also since we are Easter, happy Easter, eat plenty of chocolate, drive carefully, don't get sick, and make sure you actually subscribe, comment, like, and favorite this show on YouTube. If you're looking for me on iTunes, like a lot of you already know I am on, thank you for the subscribes. All you need to do is go into your favorite application, iTunes, go under the iTunes store, make sure you type in technology questions answered I've got two channels in there one is video one in audio audio perfect for when you're stuck in traffic video perfect when you want to see what I'm talking about have a great weekend and let's see you all next week and don't forget to subscribe thanks goodbye